Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Farid Bacharet versus Victor Hugo. Farid Bacharet, 12 and 0, minus 500 favorite. That's crazy to me. 27 years old, 5'8", with a 71 inch reach. Uh, Victor Hugo's 25 wins, four losses. Got a la his last one against Pedro Falco by decision. I had a very nice knee bar a year ago in the Contender Series. Plus 380 underdog at 31 years old, 5'7 with a 71 inch reach, one inch in height for Farid Bacharet. The one thing I think Farid does better than uh, Javid Bacharet does is kind of mix his uh, wrestling with his striking. Like he'll strike and he's very good in uh, those entries with his takedowns. Very, he's, I think I would say he's a better striker than Javid, um, but Javid is a little bit more flashy, I guess if that would make sense. But with Victor Hugo, you know, having 25 wins, you know, it, it's a little overstated because, you know, he has eight, eight decision wins, but he has 17 finishes. He also has 12 first round finishes. So again, you know, and he's it, it, competition that he's fought, it's, it's not great up until 2022, 17 and 8, 23 and 9, 15 and 7, 16 and 1, 16 and 3. So he's starting to fight some decent competition with that weird rec that record that he has before then. 15-2 and two he had lost to. But, again, yeah. It's always weird when guys with big records fight lower-leveled guys. It, it's weird to me. And, you know, I think technically Fowler Becherette is um, better. Obviously, I think he's definitely more technical. The problem I have with it is Vic, Victor Hugo, he's he creates chaos, and that can make Farid run into something. He can get caught with something big. I don't think you can always count on that. And because uh, Victor Hugo gets taken down, he was taken down in his last fight. You know, I believe he was taken down in his last fight. I remember him being on the ground. Am I forgetting this? Let me see. Let me see. Victor Hugo... Takedown defense was 87. Fuck. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, yeah, so taken down. Yeah, Pedro Falco got a takedown. Um, yeah, he did get a takedown. I remember him being, uh, Victor being on the ground. But again, he had, Victor also had a knockdown. It was a pretty decent fight. Um, I just think if Farrah can consistently have Victor Hugh on the ground... I really think Fabre Besharak can do a lot of good things in this matchup. You know, strikes landed per minute. Yeah, per minute, 4.47 to 3.46. So he already throws a little bit more. Accuracy is 58 to 51. Strikes absorbed per minute is 2.44 to 2.25. Defense is 57 to 61. And then a ton of takedown stuff. Takedowns average for, for a fight, 3.96 to 0.67. Accuracy is 41 to 50. Defense is 83 to 87. And the submissions is 1.4 to 0.6 for Victor Hugo. And Farid, I think, has fought better better competition. So I like Farid, but plus minus 500, I do not agree with. I don't think this fight is a domination by Farid Bacharet. Unless Victor can't, you know, uh, get off the ground. If he can't get up, if he can't create scrambles, then I guess you could see that it being a domination for Farid Bacharet. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know you're picking. Peace.